Uh, have you ever tried to weave polyester string through a Kevlar string? If you ever have, you'll find out that it's really fairly difficult. The reason for that is because the coefficient of friction of the uh, Kevlar strings is very high and the string you're weaving, which is polyester, is very stiff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the string just sort of weave itself. I'm pulling enough through so that I can go past the edge of the frame. Now rather than weaving it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this string up, push this string down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and it just sort of weaves itself. If I try to drag this string through all of these 18 main strings, it's going to get harder and harder and harder as I weave across. And by the time I get here, I'll have to start pushing the string through and kinking the string up and everything else. But I actually weave my string two different ways. You see how I weave it from this side to this side. Let me show you the other side. Alright, going the other way now. And here's something I do all the time, uh, no matter what I'm doing, is I'll go under, over this string and under that one initially. Then I'll pull it through so I got enough string to go past the other side. Then I'll go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. If I run into where it starts getting stiff, I'll just grab the string and pull it through. And if I just keep pushing it up and down, it'll pretty much weave itself. Another thing I do, let me just uh, show you that. It's the same as what I've been doing, it's just uh, you may not have noticed it. Oh, I just love cap grommets. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I went over, under, over. So I'm going to go down, up, down, up and just keep pushing it through. If I ever get to a point where it just doesn't want to go for me, it doesn't want to come over, this, what I'm doing is I'm pulling this end, not this end. I'm pulling this across, not this across. If I pull this string over to here, I also have to pull that one. And it'll make it twice as hard to get over there. So now, if it ever binds up on me, I just take my finger and push it up a little bit. And when I push it up, I'll push it up to where it just goes over the string that I have to go over. Then I'll push it down, push it up, and then I can push it down again and just keep going across like that. You don't need to do it now, but when you get down close to the bottom, you'll have to do it. I'm going to weave one more string here and then I'll show you what I do when I get down to the bottom because I do it a little bit differently down there. Also I realize that if I don't let the end of this string go all the way down on the ground and I have to hunt for it all over again that I can do it faster. But I'm not concerned with doing it faster. All I'm trying to do is get all the kinks out of my string and everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more going across. If it ever binds up on me where this end didn't come through, just grab it, pull it up. And you don't want it to where it ends up right there because then you're going to kink the string right here. And using this method, when I get down to the bottom, you'll see that I don't have a, a lot of kinks in my string. 
because those kinks, what they'll do is cause more friction when you're weaving the string across there. And that friction, I don't think, is good for the strings. I'm going to turn this off now and I'll come back when I get down to the bottom. Well, I ran into a small problem. When I was stringing that uh, other racket, got down to the bottom, I turned on my video recorder and the phone started ringing. It rang three times, so since I had a couple more of these bad boys to string, I figured I'd redo it and turn the ringer off on the dead gum telephone. All right, once you get down here to the bottom, it's going to get pretty hard to pull weave across these main strings. So what I'll do then is I still go under that first one first. Uh, first, or actually it's the second main, but uh, go under the first first one. Then I'll just take the tag end and push on the string to push it uh, underneath the string I'm going under and use my bottom hand to push up on the string to get it through there. And then I'll just walk it across. Uh, don't try weaving it because it's just going to get really, really difficult to weave it across there unless you're really, really good at weaving. Then when I get down to the end, I'll just use the needle and thread. I don't want to kink up my string. Get the string pulled through there and then I'll pull tension on it. And then I'll do the same thing on the bottom cross. Just not a lot of room to work with that string. And I always pull this string all the way through so that when, it, when I'm pulling through uh, the string, I'm only pulling it across one main string. Just not being very agreeable this morning. I've strung about uh, six rackets already and still have two more to go, not, finish, not counting this one. And I don't mind telling you, my fingers are uh, sore. They haven't all been polyester mains or Kevlar mains, but uh, they've all been polyester crosses. Every one of them. Which makes it even more difficult. Then I'll go on and tie this off. I hope sh that helps you weaving. Uh, I know I've got a few other videos out there about using a string method and a pony bead. The pony bead is what I originally used to help me with this method because it sort of gives you the uh, feeling of pulling that string across there. Uh, but I didn't use it very long. Y'all have a nice day. See you next time.